Hello there, Rhino Horn 125 and today, uh, well, in my last video on the Hot Toys Bruce Willis, uh, I was going, I said something about doing a, um, Ash cosplay video. Well, I was going to, I did the video, but then I decided to delete it, not off YouTube, but on my camera, uh, because I decided not to do it. Um, the reason why is because I'm just going to wait until I get, um, just, I got that done, and it was really just the pants I was doing, so it wasn't like a big deal, so I just decided not to put it on YouTube. So instead I'm going to be doing this, which today I'm doing uh, these pants, making my Die Hard costume, and I noticed in the movie, he just has a pair of whatever colored pants, but they are dirty, so that'll do. And uh, I'm trying to do, not really a dyeing trick, I guess it kind of is. I'm not dyeing them a certain color, but I'm just making them dirty. So, Alright, so what I've done is I got water, and then I squirted this in there. It's in this so it doesn't get all over. And then I stirred it around with this. Um, I don't have gray in here with me, but I just might have to get gray. Um, so, I'm just going to dip those in there, see what it does. And uh, I might need this. My Bruce Willis is laying over here. I don't want him to fall. So I just have to. Uh, I might also bring these outside and put them. Um, so I don't know if this is just going to wet them or what it's going to do. Uh, I haven't watched any kind of video to do this. I just kind of decided I might do it on its own. Might have to. I'm guessing that's going to probably do it. They're really wet, of course, um, but I'm uh, just going to see what that does. I might also put some reps. I'm trying to make them movie accurate. I'll show you a picture. Um, there's really not a good picture of how they are in the movie, but when you look up Hot Toys, Die Hard, Bruce Willis, there's some pretty nice pictures. And I'm not actually just trying to dye these brown. I'm just making them dirty, like I said. Because, let's say, if I was making ash pants, well, for one, I wouldn't use these. And another, uh, this would not dye it, because that's not dye, it's paint. Dye is something different. So, I'll just let that soak in there for a little bit. Um, and I'll be back, and I'll put in some grays. So, alright, so, have the gray, I'll just take this out of here. Um, I don't, like I said, I have no idea how this is going to work. If this doesn't work, I'll just dirty up the crap out of them outside in dirt, and just let it dry like that, and just never wash them or anything, or get them wet. Because what I'm trying to do is make, um, real quick here, let me grab my Bruce Willis. So here's my Bruce Willis if you haven't seen any of the videos yet. Uh, I'll have another review up on him. I'm trying to make a box for him. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, um, I'm just trying to make him, he already has his green shirt. That's just kind of his Bruce Willis outfit and then I'm trying to make him like from Die Hard because that head is from Die Hard with a Vengeance. Wait. No, sorry, the first Die Hard. That's what that head's from. Um, but, uh, he looks the same in both. It's just, that's what it says. Die Hard. Probably. So that's brown and gray in there. Put a little bit more brown. Don't want to put too much brown, because brown over comes gray a lot. Depending on the color. When I get the, uh, what I'm going to do is get a shoe box and I'm going to customize it and make it kind of look like a Hot Toys box and I print, I did a bunch of printouts. I'm not going to be doing a video of me making it, but then there will be a review after that of it and uh, it will look like a normal review. I'll do it like just any other review. I will mention this when I do the review, 
but uh, it won't seem like that. But other than that, I'll do size comparison, you know, all the things I've ever done in my other reviews. So far, this is coming out nice. Uh, if it dries and looks like this, I'm really going to be really happy. But if it doesn't, uh, I'd be a little disappointed because I thought this would work because it dries in and it's fabric, so it might dry in there. Uh, this gray is running out. I have four of these, uh, and all the other three are completely full. So I'm good. And here's the pants. That's making a mess now. And this is just a test video, so it's kind of a how-to uh, if you want to dirty pants, unless there's an easier way. But just see how these are coming out. Yeah, so that's good right there. Uh, I'm going to... It looks like blood on the back there. Well, it's more brown. It looks cool. The inside look the same. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go lay these out in the sun, let them dry. Uh, I'll be back when they're dry and show you how it turns out. Uh, and I'll, um, while that's drying, uh, so right now here is a picture of how the pants look. Well, the uh, actual die hard, but just mainly look at the pants. Die hard figure. Hey there, I'm back and uh, I just thought of an idea. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to dry this and then uh, I'm going to do it with a hair dryer to, to speed up the process and then wait it for a dry. And um, uh, that, that if you've seen the picture you can see yes by the picture. I will show the picture at the end of the video as well. But um, they're not completely movie accurate you can tell because I'm not. And these are my best pants that I could find. These are short and it's good because in the movie he doesn't have short, uh, socks or shoes on when he wears these pants. Uh, if you've seen the first Die Hard, if you haven't, don't watch this video. Or maybe watch this video for tips, but uh, if you haven't seen it, just go watch it. Um, so, here's a hair dryer. I'm just going to speed up the process here. Um, might have to... Uh, I'm going to get this plugged in and ready to go, and I'll be back. Alright, so it's time to speed this up a little bit. fell off there. I need to uh, lay this down. Maybe I should get green. It's not such a good idea to have. Right, so. And uh, tea bag uh, thing uh, will probably work. Uh, actually, I got the idea suggested by my grandma. So. One, two, uh, we'll do it, but
Yeah, they're drying a lot. those are dry enough so there's how they look and uh, I don't know if I'll have to use water if I soak them in tea bags but uh, I'm gonna go get some tea bags and I'll be back so here's how the back and the front looks there's the front the inside is pretty dry oh. all right so at the end of the video I'll show you that picture again just so you can remember uh, I'll show you more up close right now, so here's how it looks, and if you remember what they looked at the beginning, you can still see some of that right there, um, which will be taken care of by the tea bags. so I'll be back. Alright, I'm back, uh, so here's what I'm going to do, well first I'm going to make this go as tall as it can, uh, you'll see the process from above, uh, but I'm just trying to, maybe, there we go, as far as it can go, so... I'm just gonna unplug this, won't be needing this for a little while. And uh, I was told the less water you put in, the darker it will be. So if you understand that, you understand, but if you don't, uh, I can't really explain it. But I'm just gonna fill it up about where I did before. Uh, and I'm going to put the tea bags in with it. And hopefully, I'm going to put one underneath as well. So, just going to see what that does. No water. coffee it has a lot of use uh, if you get uh, if you get um, tea and coffee and like dab it on paper um, it will it makes the paper look old and I don't like tea or coffee I don't eh, gross so there's my use of it let's wait for this to do its work here see if it starts snowing gross yet Smells like water, which is good because I hate the smell of tea. It smells how it tastes. Put in the comments below if you hate tea. My brother's probably going to comment he loves tea, which is it's good. It's okay to like tea. I just don't like being around. and I, I mean, it's okay if I'm around it. I just don't like to smell it. Right. Okay, that's starting to smell like tea. So... I'll just let that soak in there. I'll take it out a few times. And uh, in the meantime, just uh, yeah, be back in like one millisecond. Five minutes for me, millisecond for you. While you're waiting, uh, and so am I, um, I'm going to do a quick advertisement since I'm on the 1-6 scale type of stuff. So, uh, this is the, um, the Max Holmes Curse of the Relic DVD from, uh, well, yeah, disc, it's not DVD, sorry, whatever, um, anyway, of the, from Hut Wiggly, he's on YouTube, if you don't know who he is, uh, you might want to check this out, uh, it's a movie, don't know how long, it's like 20-something minutes, and, um, go check it out, uh, find him on Instagram, he's Hut Wiggly on Instagram, if you can't find him, find me, look at my friends, you'll find Hut Wiggly, if you can't find me, just look everywhere, try your best, because sometimes things doesn't pop up when you type it in, um, but anyway, so if you do have a Facebook, go find him, he does have an Instagram, but he's never posted anything, he's had it for like a year, so just go check this out, uh, it's uh, Max Helms, Curse of the Relic DVD, uh, I have an unboxing of this. So, go check it out. Alright, while I'm waiting for the tea bags to settle and um, help that make the pants dirty, 
here is some things I want for my diehard uh, Bruce Willis. So what my Bruce Willis is, uh, is, um, I said it before, but I'm going to say it again, is he just has Bruce Willis stuff on, like what he would wear in his normal life. And, um, and then he, I'm making him an, uh, outfit from Bruce uh, Willis when he's, in, well, Die Hard, the first Die Hard. So here's the tank top I want to get. Probably won't do too much modifications on that. Maybe just soak it in tea bags too, but with less water. And then here's a stand. I want to get two of those. And then here's a different body. This is not for the Bruce Willis, but uh, it comes with fists. So I would like to have fist form. This is for another one I'm trying to put together. I'll have another separate video of that soon. And then there's this gun that I want to get for him. And then here is uh, the other body, like the um, the body that I just showed you. Is I want to get this, and then I want to use the pants and the boots and uh, the head doesn't really. And I'll use the gun and the holster and all that. And I'm trying to put together a Bruce Campbell Ash Williams. So we'll just I'll have another video on that. So uh, yeah, so. Uh, here's the next part of the customizing of the pants on the Bruce Willis Die Hard Bruce Willis. Uh, all right, uh, just had to explain that, and um, now it's been about 15, 16 minutes, and I've had these in there, well, for that about that long because I went and did that, and then I'll. So now for the revealing, uh, these look the same. Mm, I won't be mad or anything, it was just kind of frustrating it didn't work. So actually, when I look at it, let me just lay it on my hand, that's the back and the front, I'll just... Actually, when I look at it, kind of almost looks like it uh, worked. But I'm not sure. Just no idea. So that that's kind of frustrating a little bit, but oh well. Um, I think they look kind of good before. Not perfect, but good enough. I'll be back. I'm gonna try something a little bit uh, crazy. Not crazy, but strange. All right. This is what I'm gonna do. Yes, this is a sink. But, you know, there's this above, so it's okay. I might not have much of this left, but that might be okay. it's dry so maybe but it kind of seemed like the tea bags actually took the paint color out I don't know unless I just remember it differently but that's what it looked alright well that got wrapped around picture I showed you they look nothing like that but I would just have to say good enough that's all I'm gonna do uh, maybe in the future try something that maybe dye if I figure out how to dye stuff but this is good for now so um that that's uh, pretty much it on this uh, I'll just dry them and then show you one last time 
and then I'll show you uh, that picture again. So. All right, so here they are, um, the ones on the other one here. So uh, I think mine were close enough. Uh, I was trying to make more brownish up on the top here, so uh, I think it's fine. Alright, so like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. I will have a full review on this figure once I get done with the box, which will take a while for me to do. I already did all the printouts, but there's still a lot to do. Um, so, And like I said, it will be done like any other review I do with the articulation, the detail. Yes, I have already done an articulation video on it, but uh, this is just going to be called a review of it. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.